Right, Thog Dad, one player to impress in every game week two. How many likes are we going for today? Oh, 14,000. Oh, no, come on, Dad. Come on. Let's go for 20. Go on then. Hey, he said the big words. Go on then. So straight into Arsenal. Now they've got Chelsea at home, haven't they, Theo? And this for me is going to be a battle of the midfield. And I've gone for Sambi Laconga. He's a young player, great range of passing, and younger than a lot of the Chelsea midfielders, Theo. There's a couple debutants in this matchup, and I'm going for Martin Odegaard. And the reason I have is because I think Laconga was good in the first game, but I want to watch out for the new boy. He's just signed on a permanent. Ancelotti doesn't want an Israel Madrid plan. Odegaard needs to start off well. Arsenal need a boost after all. And I tell you what, these two players have got to really step up to the plate and say, I'm going to be in the starting eleven all season. Yeah, Arteta needs a kick. Aston Villa now, and I've gone for another new signing theory. Okay. They've got Newcastle at home, and somebody who really impressed last week, Leon Bailey, yeah. came off the bench. He got an assist, and he really changed the game, didn't he? Yeah, the Jamaican's brilliant. I watched him at Leverkusen against Rangers last few years ago before the whole lockdowns came in. He was brilliant then. He's come to the Premier League. I think his time is now to join the best league in the world and start to impress in a Villa shirt. He is the Grealish replacement and I want to see him start because when he did come on in the last game, he was brilliant. So we agree on Villa. Absolutely. He brings energy and creativity. Should be a good game. Absolutely. Brentford now and they've got Crystal Palace away now and there's a chance to do something. Now the key here for me, Theo, keep Zaha quiet and okay. take your chances. I've gone for Sergei Canos. Now I think Brentford will play a sort of 5-3-2. He's going to be playing right wing back and he's already got a goal hasn't he? Yeah of course we know Brentford were brilliant Canos got the important goal in that first game coming into this game week they could make it a double win. So the player I want to watch out for is Ivan Tony. I know a lot of you <laughs> were hoping I would say that because he's in your FPL team. Do you know what I hope he gets a goal he's in my team exactly we can all agree. Will he score his first Premier League goal in game week two I don't know but I can hope so Ivan Tony watch out for him. Brighton and Hove Albion they've got Watford at home next and it's the sort of game they should win and they should be bossing this game. Yep. You know what Theo, I've gone for Eve Bissouma, central midfielder and again I think this could be like a 1-0 or a 2-1 okay. and the midfield is all important here. Yeah I've gone for a different player for Brighton, the man that came on only played 14 minutes but got the important goal to make it 2-1 to Brighton which they brought three points home to the Amex. Of course, I'm talking about Alexis McAllister, Argentinian player who looks like Lionel Messi <laughs> with a Scottish name. I think the Brighton boys want to see more of him. If he can score like that on a more regular encounter, that will solve Brighton's XG problem. So let's see if he can do it. Absolutely. Now, Watford will be very confident. They scored three goals in the last game. So Brighton, don't count your chickens. Burnley now, and they've got Liverpool away next. So it's going to take a defensive miracle to yeah. get anything from this game. So I'm going with a defender called James Tarkowski. Now, I watched him at Oldham and Brentford. He's an England international. And if anyone can sneak something from this game, it's him. Well, I think if there's anyone that can take something from this Burnley team, it's Dwight McNeil. He's a creative, left-sided player. And again, very difficult fixture. But we've seen Burnley win it before. And if anyone's going to create for him, I think it's McNeil. So watch out for him. And I tell you what, Burnley fans, miracles do happen. Chelsea now and another London derby. It's Arsenal away. Now, this could yeah. be a tricky one. You're going to have Smith Rowe and Saka running at you. And I've gone with a player who is the story of the season, Trevor Chalaba. I've loved what I've seen really? of this guy. He is pacey, he's confident, he loves to be in the game, and I think he could be key here, Theo. You've missed a big name, Romelu Lukaku, about to make his Premier League debut back for Chelsea. Listen, I know he's played in the Premier League before a lot for United and Chelsea, but coming into this game week, he is a beast. We know what he did for Belgium at the Euros. We know how good he was last season for Inter. Against Arsenal, a shaky defence. Ben White wasn't great on his debut. Pablo Mari, I'm not convinced. Maybe this could be a Romelu Lukaku masterclass. So definitely keep an eye out for him. Crystal Palace have got Brentford at home. And a guy who's going to be crucial this season is the signing from Leon Joachim Anderson. Now you saw him last season at Fulham. He's got to walk onto that pitch, Theo, and say, this is a clean sheet for my team. Well, that's what Crystal Palace needs because three goals against Chelsea, it simply isn't good enough. And I know the players aren't going to gel automatically. They do have a good amount of squad depth and some decent talent in there as well. So let's see if he could do that. But for Palace, for me, I'm going for a man that's about to have his debut for Palace because he was eligible against Chelsea because it is his club that loaned him out. And that is, of course, Conor Gallagher. Yeah. Making his debut at Selhurst Park in front of the Palace fans. I'm sure they need his drive and creativity in the midfield for a game like this, which is winnable. So watch out 
for Conor Gallagher. That is a good shout, and a lot of Palace fans will agree, but will he gel straight away? That's my question. Well, after losing 3-0 to Chelsea, they could do with any bit of a boost. Everton now, and they've got Leeds United away, so this should be a really exciting one. Lots of space, lots of goals, and it has to be the Brazilian international, Richarlison. He got a goal and an assist last week, and he's match fit. He's been playing football for months there. Dad, this man needs no introduction. We know how good he can be got gold at the Olympics, scored two contributions at the first game week. The second game week is going to be lethal. If you've got him in fantasy, keep him. Big week in coming. Leeds United. Now, we've just said they've got Everton at home, but last week they were mauled by Manchester United. <laughs> now, this will be a test of character, Theo. Yeah. And this is all about, for me, Calvin Phillips. He's got to walk onto really? the pitch and say to his teammates, we don't lose with me in the team. Of course. And, you know, if he does start, Leeds have a massive boost. We saw how much they missed them on the first game against United. They need him. Simple as that. There is no Calvin Phillips backup in my eyes. The player I've gone for, because I forgot about him, to be honest, is Rafinha. Yeah. If you didn't know, against Everton, home and away last season, Rafinha scored in both encounters, home and away. So it, you have to watch out for him because he is the threat. He knows how to get past the Toffees goalkeeper in Jordan Pickford. So watch out for him. I know you've got him in FPL as yes. well. So pretty happy to hear that news. Now that is a very big shout, Theo, but I don't know whether this will be a four-all draw or a nil-nil draw. It's one of those yeah. games that is really hard to call. Leicester City now, they're taking a trip to West Ham. United should be an absolutely cracking game. Yep. And it wouldn't surprise me if West Ham have more of the possession. So this is all going to be about counter-attack. Attacking. And I reckon Perez, Barnes, Madison will create chances for the veteran. It's Jamie Vardy this game. Very interesting. I've gone for Harvey Barnes because yeah. in the first game week, he probably could have done more. I'm excited to see what he could do in this one. He's a player that I had throughout the whole of Fantasy Premier League last year, and he always produced the points. This year, he's about to sign a four-year deal. He's trying to get into the Southgate England squad again. He's going to stand out in this game week. Lee Chappie agrees too, so it's got to be true. Tell you what, everyone watch this game. It could be an absolute cracker. Yeah. I think real, I think it's going to be loads of goals. Yeah. Liverpool now against Burnley. And this has quite simply got Mo Salah written all over it. A Does goal it? and two assists last weekend, Theo. No, Abs no, This no, will be no, a masterclass. No, 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 Captain no. him now. This is going to be a Mane and Firmino masterclass. When they face Norwich, Firmino and Mane dominate in the contributions. It's not usually Salah. But will Firmino start or will it yes. be Jota? I think it will be Salah, Firmino, uh, Mane because yeah. that's the three that have done so well against Norwich in the past. Why would you change it? So for me, I'm going to say, oh, should I go? For, I'll go Bobby Firmino because he did score on the first day, but watch out for Mane too. A double, a double pick. But you've gone for those two. The only one in your FPL team is Mo Salah. Manchester City home to Norwich. So I'm just going to state the obvious. Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, yeah. Now he's going to absolutely dominate this game. He could get two or three contributions. He will have seen what Bruno did last weekend, Theo. Yeah, and I think he can replicate it because Norwich at home is the perfect fixture for him to... He might even play the number nine role because Gundogan might be out and, you know, you still want to fill it in the likes of Ferran Torres, Grealish, Mares. This City team could absolutely destroy... Norwich, it could be time to make some changes in FPL to yeah, fit yeah. a City player in. I know you've got Grealish, I've got none. Might be time to sell Harvey Barnes for Ferran. Hopefully he'll play. Out of all the Man City players I could pick, I'll agree with you with De Bruyne. Absolutely. Now, Pep Roulette, that is the worry, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Jack Grealish, I want to see how he links with Kevin De Bruyne. That could be amazing if it works. I think they'll both start. Manchester United away at Southampton. There could be goals here. Definitely. And I'm going with the incredible Paul Pogba. Now, he got four mm. assists last weekend. He's got a lot to prove in the last year of his contract to both Man United and to potential suitors. And Incredible player on his day. Yeah, I've gone for a different lad, Mason Greenwood, because he's really impressed me. He's playing in that number nine role, which I thought would be Cavani, but obviously he's not played the first game. He was out for whatever reason. And Greenwood really impressed. He's, he's going to actually make it difficult for Cavani to get back in the striker role. I think he can keep it up. He scored a, a really good goal in the first one, and they won by over five goals, which is just incredible. I get the feeling game week two, he's going to score again. Get him in your FPL team. What's going to happen? Bruno gets two goals and two assists, but we don't want to be obvious here. Newcastle United now, they've got Villa away, and Villa mm. have made a few changes, so this is a big chance for Newcastle. I'm going with Alan St. Maximan, because last weekend, in the first half, he was magnificent. Magnificent, wasn't Look, he? it's very simple, Dad. He completed the most take-ons out of anybody in game week one. Yeah. Completed. Successful. The guy was ridiculous. The goal he created for Callum Wilson. What happened to Declan Rice? I mean, he was very good yeah, that game, yeah. but that was a bit of a stinker. And overall, I just think he is the danger man. If you're going to watch out for someone, he's just... 
He's a talent. Norwich now away at Manchester City. It could be a very long afternoon, this. So I've gone with Billy Gilmore in central mm. midfield. And i tell you why, Theo. Okay. He's a big game player, potentially. We saw what he did for Scotland against England. Can he pull out a miracle? Is there any way Norwich get out of this with a point? Or even three? <laughs> Well, it could be one of those three-all draws, couldn't it? <laughs> Could you imagine? Look, I think Billy Gilmore's a good shout, but I've gone for Pierre Lise Malou. He's this French central midfielder who I know Norwich got battered 3-0 by Liverpool, but he was probably, in my eyes, Norwich's best player on the day. I think he links play well for his debut. Norwich fans have got to give him a chance, and I think he'll put in another shift against Man City. Southampton, and they've got a tough one, Man United at home. But I tell you what, Man United will usually give you a few chances, and the man to take them, Adam Armstrong. He cost £16 million from Blackburn Rovers, scored on his debut. I think he might just score again. Well, United can keep a clean sheet at home to Leeds and, you know, coming away at Southampton, it's St. Mary's debut for Adam Armstrong, who scored against Everton on his Premier League debut. I get the feeling he'll make it a double. He'll keep the momentum going. He's the one to watch out for for me. Tottenham Hotspur are travelling to Wolverhampton Wanderers and I expect this to be kind of a low-scoring game with a few counter-attacking opportunities. So it's got to be hung in Sun. He's bound to have two or three chances. He's bound to take one of them. Well, the problem is they're travelling today to um, a team in the Porto region that isn't Porto. Oh, right. For the Conference League. I mean, the travel will play on Spurs' minds because yeah. then they have to go away to Wolves on the weekend, which is just tough, isn't it? So, Steven Bergwin not yeah. travelling with the European squad, which means he'll be fit for the weekend and ready to go. So I'm going to say watch out for him, Spurs fans. And that is a very sensible show. Watford now, they're travelling down to the south coast to Brighton and Hove Albion, who are a good team, especially at home. Yeah. But I'm going with the Nigerian. He came from Bruges. It's in Belgium. Emmanuel Dennis. Interesting shout. Well, I've gone for someone different. Ben Foster told me to go for him and he plays for Watford. So yeah. I'm going to take his advice, correct? Ismail Asar. Scored in the first game against Villa, helped them get three points. Watford have another winnable game. Yeah. And I think Saar could have a masterclass. I'm very tempted to bring him in on FPL. Let me know in the comments if you're going to join Ben Foster's advice. He's the one to watch out. Hey, a little bit of name dropping there. Football friends, Ben Foster, eh? You love him too, Thorpe. Yeah, he's a legend. West Ham United, they've got Leicester City at home. And I'm going with Saeed Ben Rama. Theo, he had a great pre-season. He had a cracking open day to the season. And I'm delighted to see him in the 11. He's got to keep playing like that. You're just copying me. I've gone for Saeed Ben Rama. That was my thing. Why are you copying me, Dad? I'm sorry about that. Ah, just rude. I and mean, he did have a great game, he did. didn't he? Maybe this could be Saeed's big season because we didn't see enough of him in the first year. How much can he do? Oh, he can do loads. We saw him at Brentford and we were mightily yeah. impressed. But he's got to prove it week in, week out there. Definitely. And I'm sure he can keep it up. So watch out for him, guys. Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now I've gone for Francisco Trincao for their game against Tottenham Hotspur. And I'll tell you why. Barcelona, he, he didn't get many minutes for Barcelona. Of course, he's on loan at the moment. But when he did, he was a bit of a big game player there. Was he? That's yeah. interesting to know. Well, Thog, Dad, listen. I've gone for a man that really impressed me in the first game week. Max Kilman. Yeah. English centre-back. Watch out for him. He had a great game against... Uh, okay, they lost 1-0. He's a man to stand out and I think keep an eye out for him because he could have a good game coming into a winnable match. Spurs are at home. They're coming back from Portugal today or they, well, they're flying to Portugal today. Have to come back tomorrow. Not much time to rest for these Spurs boys. Winnable game for Wolves. Kilman Masterclass. You never know. That is amazing. Get your FPL teams done. If you've not joined our league, do it. Yeah, what are you doing not joining the league? You've missed out on prizes. A Thog Dad t-shirt to be won. Right, smash the like button, boys. You know Thog Dad went for 20,000 likes at the start because I changed him, didn't I? You certainly did. I changed him. We're back in Monty. We're in Serbia yesterday. At least I was. I think yeah, yeah. was with my mate Anton, not this mug. You know, you're a mug, you know. That's not very nice. I'm joking. I'm jo okay, you know, we're still friends here. Don't worry, guys. We're going to end it here. I'm going for a beer. <laughs> That's, it's literally like a, it's like a bot. You just press a button. Thog yeah. Dad, I'm going for a beer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's his saying. Anyway, I'm ending on that. Goodbye.